done so far is go from the real number set. We got our natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational, and irrational numbers. What we're going to do is move over to the exponents. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to learn, take everything that we learned in the real number set and move over to the exponents. We've already talked about the subsections in the exponents. Now what we're going to do is bring over addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and see how the operations in the rational number set apply to the exponents. Now, obviously, well, actually not obviously, sometimes it's easier to do multiplication, division, sometimes it's easier to do subtraction, addition. Right now, what we're going to talk about, we're going to deal with subtraction, addition is basically the same thing. We're going to group those things together, and we're going to group multiplication and division together. So let's go over and talk about adding things that are to the exponent and see where that goes, how that works. Okay? When you're adding stuff that are to the exponents, Addition and subtraction basically are um, sort of a universal rule where you can only add and subtract like things. So a box can only add or subtract from a box, okay? A box plus or subtract the triangle is going to be a box plus or add, uh, adding and subtracting a triangle, okay? So you can only add or subtract like terms. So if you have something, let's say, can we go down here? Yeah, we can go down here. If you have a to the power of 2 plus a to the power of 3, you can't add those because they're not completely identical. When you're adding and subtracting, the base has to be the same and the exponent has to be the same. Okay. So it's irrelevant if both of these have the same exponent. If their bases are not the same, you can't add them. Over here, we have two things that have the same base, but different exponents, okay? And you can't add these things. So that would be equivalent to wanting to add a, a square and a square, but their exponents are different. So this would be a square, and this would be a triangle. You can't add those, okay? So keep this in mind. We're gonna do a few examples. Very straightforward. Plus A, okay? A plus A. Squared there. 2a squared plus 3a squared. Now, they're exactly the same thing. So it doesn't make a difference what's in the box. As long as the boxes are identical, you can add them. So 2 boxes plus 3 boxes is 5 boxes. And what's the box we're talking about is a squared. So a squared. And this continues on. As long as they're completely identical, you can add them. So when you're combining things, both the base and the exponent have to be identical. So if I gave you something like this, a squared times b plus b squared, you can add these because multiplication, these two things are multiplied together. So this supersedes this, the addition part anyway. So the answer to this would just be a squared, a squared b plus b squared. So this would just be a squared b plus Square. It doesn't reduce anything. Okay. So when you're adding or subtracting, they have to be identical. It doesn't make a difference what um, what they are. It could be extremely complicated. For example, if you had a squared b w over z, let's make maybe two of these guys plus uh, five a squared b w then the answer to this would just be 2 plus 5, whatever this thing is, because they're identical. Okay. So it doesn't make a difference what it is that you're adding, as long as there, uh, there's no difference between them. For example, if this was a power 2 and that's a power 1, you couldn't add them because that wouldn't work out. Right now, the way it stands, the answer to this would be 7 is the only one. 7 that if there's any difference between them, you cannot add or subtract them. So for example, if you had now 
those two things you can add because the term here is identical. They're identical to each other. So the answer to this would just be 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. So this would be negative 5 w squared, square root of z over q. Okay. I hope that's pretty clear where you, if there's any differences between these two guys, you can't add or subtract them. So for example, if this was w squared z, square root of z, q squared, if this was a q squared, then you couldn't add those. That wouldn't be the answer. Okay. Uh, this is super important because, let's kill this. This is super important because once you get into radicals, um, with radicals you can only add and subtract. Uh, you can only add and subtract like terms as well. So, for example, if you had and and uh, powers just like this, if you had three square root of five minus eight square root of five, then the answer to this is negative five square root of five because it's just. Uh, 3 minus 8, right? If there's any difference between these radicals, you can't add or subtract them. So, for example, if you had 3 square root of 5 minus 8 cubed root of 5, then you're stuck. You can't do anything with this. The answer to this would just be itself. 3 square root of 5 minus 8 cubed root of 5. Mixed radicals, adding and subtracting mixed radicals. So you could have something like, uh, let's just stick with uh, 2 square root 8. 2 square root 8. And then let's go minus 5 square root 32. Okay. That's on there. That's on there. Now 2 square root 8, we just did this, but it would be 2, 2, 2. Pair them up, they come out as singles, there's a 2 waiting for them, so it multiplies the 2, it becomes 4 square root 2 minus 32 is 5 2's multiplied together. It's 4 times 8, 4 breaks down to 2 2, and 8 breaks down to 8 2 2 2. So it becomes 2 2 2 2 2. Square root means bring out those, pair, those two 2's as a single 2, bring out those two 2's as a single 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, it comes out as, well, that's a 4, basically, because those 2 come out as a 2, those 2 come out as a 2. What's waiting for them is a 5, so 4 times 5 is 20, square root 2. Now, because these things are exactly the same, you can combine your like terms. So 4 minus 20, 4 root 2 minus 20 root 2 is just 4 minus 20. 4 of this minus 20, that's the same thing. So it just becomes negative 16 square root 2. Okay. And that just means it's a negative number. This is not a negative in the exponent where you flip the whole thing. This is just a negative number. Okay. Um, don't get confused. I'm going to say it again. Don't get confused between what's in the base and what's in the exponent. Okay. This is just a negative number. And that would be the answer to that. Because when you get radicals like that, you have to break them down so they're identical radicals for you to be able to combine them, otherwise you can't combine them.